We are live. Oh my goodness. Mm. La ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. it's that time. Mm -hmm. it Welcome. Is, it is that time for the show. <laughs> Can't wait. Welcome to another episode of the Intercode Podcast. Obviously a little bit different tonight as we have taken oh, over dear. the Game Octane Twit TV chat slash channel. It is the dream but, team. Uh, I agree. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is it. We, you know, no one's asked for it, obviously, but I wanted to show our mugs. Hey, and, no, and no one asked for it. Beautiful faces. They didn't know they needed this after the PS5 stream today. Ooh, they did not I know, know right? right? They got cherry on top, fellas. Exactly. <laughs> I, exactly. <laughs> well, we're so glad you can join us this evening for a special edition as we talk about all things Sony PlayStation 5. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Welch, along with the super handsome chosen one, John Jefferson Jr. Oh, that's me. You got it right. I'm so proud of you. I know. I only cheated a little bit and listened to a past episode to make sure that I got the name right. Right. <laughs> but it's fine. But it's fine. But, ladies and gentlemen, the Italian stallion himself. Ah, <laughs> yes. Jason Jeremy is joining hey, us tonight. What is up, everyone? I am super excited to be on uh, Intercode. You guys should be listening to this every time they drop an episode. But yes, I am super stoked to be here. Thank you. Thank you for this. <laughs> thank you for doing this. This is great. I love it. Well, you know, the past couple episodes, I've been I've been harping on Sony a little bit, and I think John's been a little bullied. So I, I we needed to get another perspective, another fresh perspective on here. You got the wrong one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, this, this is gonna be a blast. I can't this wait. Gonna, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be oh, fun. Well, is... tonight, like I already mentioned, we're gonna talk everything about the showcase tonight. Um, all the great things we saw, all the um, not so great things that happened. Oh yeah, <laughs> which is fine. We'll get to that later. But as you already know, you can go on our social media pages at Intercode Pod on Twitter and on Facebook if you want to leave a comment, leave a question, things like that. We are obviously live on Twitch right now, twitchtv slash octane. If you haven't followed it yet, you need to. That's where all the hotness is. So, that, it's that new hotness. It's that new hotness. So, for example, this weekend, um, I, I'm I'm ready to bring the heat with uh, WWE 2K Battlegrounds. So, Ooh. you know, you're ready, you're ready for another ass open. I thought we we I thought we settled this last time. I thought we settled this last game. I'm being bullied right now. That was where's my mom? Mom? You, you, mom? you, you need more than your mom. Mama. Mama. <laughs> You're gonna better get your you better get your COVID test now because you gotta go to the hospital. You gotta get fast tracked to the ER room. Shots fired. Look, my track record on wrestling games is not great, but I mean I'm feeling good about this one. This one's gonna be good. All right. Hey, it's, I, it's, it's a new it's a new game. I, it's gonna be a a fresh slate. Um, we're good with it. We're, we're good, good with it. We're, we're good with it. So oh, yeah. yes, keep keep. If you haven't yet, follow Twitch.tv slash Game Octane. We're streaming all the time. Lots of new stuff. Lots of old stuff. Lots of just all good all <laughs> shenanigans good. all the time. Mostly, mostly shenanigans. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after this, after we record this uh, this special episode, we're going to grab the audio file. We'll post it on our normal stuff on Anchor.fm, on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, the works. Mm, so, can't wait everything everything so it's gonna be good so gentlemen let's get to it <sighs> all right it. so this evening um <laughs> I, I i don't know if you noticed this or not but on the uh on our little agenda of what we're going to talk about this evening i wrote about the uh emotional roller coaster known as the ps5 showcase mm. um yeah, I, I don't know about you but there were some highs there were some lows it was just all over the place yeah but, it, what, what, what do you guys think overall watching that showcase <laughs> overall initially i was about to like stop watching i was like okay i'm okay with new games but show me what i want to know tell me the price exactly the band-aid off let's go <laughs> like, you didn't seem like the chats and everybody everybody's like okay sweet another game mm -hmm. tell us the price dang it part part of me was so excited that like I, I, just the thought popped in my head what if what if they didn't have a price or the date just because we, we were getting to the like nitty gritty last couple minutes, and I, I was even messaging Jason on Discord. I'm like, <laughs> yep. uh, they're doing this? Or are they not doing it? It was only yeah. supposed to be 40 minutes. No, no, it's 41 <laughs> minutes. I mean, we got some problems. <laughs> better roll yeah. credits quick. 
Because, you know, there's always that one last thing, which we'll talk about, which is mm. incredible, heavenly. Mm. I know. Mm. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Jason, besides the uh, <laughs> the length of it and when they finally yeah. got to the prices, what did you think overall? Of the, uh, of the overall, I think I I thought, I mean, as as a PlayStation fan, I mean, I'm a fan of everything, but as, as a, I grew up with PlayStation. So as a PlayStation fan, I thought it was, I thought it was good. They had, they showed off a lot of major games that people are going to be buying like surprise everyone with the first game i like i wasn't expecting that to come out which we'll, we'll, you guys are probably going to bring up um like the first couple ones were all the ones like two that people didn't really know that was happening and then they hit you with the sony miles morales you're like okay i am fully invested in this thing let's just go and then it kind of went it kind of went down a little bit you're like well you know devil may cry has already been out but yeah then it kind of yeah. picked back up like you said it was a roller coaster you're exactly right with that but I feel they did not show that price long enough. Like it was 10 seconds and I went to type something and it was gone. I'm like, what happened? I really should have left that up. I don't understand what happened, but it, overall, I think it was a, I think it was a pretty good conference. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, uh, I definitely would recommend it. Uh, as we all know, usually those broadcasts are done in 1080p HD, and then they release the trailers and things like that later in that sweet, sweet 4K. So mm -hmm. yeah, definitely go on YouTube, see some of the videos that they that they release because you know it, it definitely looks a lot better <laughs> when you see it in the in the yeah. final rendition of 4K. Right. Um, but we'll, we'll just real quick, we'll go through just some of the stuff that we uh, that we watched on the showcase. Um, kind of talk a few minutes here and there about the stuff that we liked and stuff that mm. we didn't like. Um, up front, and this was really one of the highest parts of the the, the conference, I think, in my opinion, was the surprise fi fi Final Fantasy 16 announcement. Um, I obviously wasn't expecting it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I kind of I kind of thought we were going to get a rehash of basically all the stuff we saw in the previous showcase. So that was a surprise. And also it being, you know, PS5 exclusive. I thought that was a pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. he did say it on the bottom, fine print on PC as well. So it's yeah. not exclusive. Yes. It's a console and exclusive. It's exclusive to the console of Sony, <laughs> but it's also coming on PC. That's how they, that's how it said in the title. It, console, yeah, yeah. PS4 console exclusive. That's right. Also and, available you know, on PC. <laughs> and, and both both consoles, both both Xbox and both Sony, they do this where they say it's exclusive, and then you go back and it's kind of back treads of like, oh wait, it's going to be on this, or oh, it's only going to be kind of exclusive and things like that. So I think I'm going to wait and see. But um, I mean, are you guys excited for Final Fantasy? It looked pretty pretty awesome. You realize who you're talking to? Of course, I'm excited for Final Fantasy, bro. <laughs> I'm the one that introduced you to Final Fantasy VII. Let's go. That's true. That's true. I, a part of me was hoping that maybe they would do like a Final Fantasy Part Two, like little teaser, and that would just melt everyone's face. You know, just like. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> right. So that's right. Well, it's yeah, it's one of those you know games where you know it's probably going to be on the back burner, maybe one day. You know, I'll get to it. It'll be on my backlog, but. Yeah. I mean, Final Fantasy. Cool. I'm assuming this game's going to be long. I mean, with the size of the discs they have, I don't know. It's going to be like a 50-hour minimum game. But <laughs> when when they first started playing it, and I'm like, wait a minute, is this Final Fantasy? It's like the first thing I wrote. I was like, FF? Question mark? Like, what is this? Yeah, and then right. it was then it got like really deep really quick. And it's not like mm -hmm. it's completely opposite of what 15 was, which is you can say what you want about it depending on if you're a fan or not. But yeah. it it's a whole completely different vibe. And I... Yeah super excited to see like what the story is going to be because it didn't really explain much of the story you saw a lot of cool stuff and a lot of scary stuff and a lot of crazy stuff but it, you don't know anything what happened in the story you just know there's a kid and eventually he looks like a kid and then all of a sudden he has blood on him like a couple like a minute later like okay this is going to get real i'm super excited to check this out <laughs> it's just ketchup guys it was just you know he's trying to get the ketchup mm. out of the bottle <laughs> he's, gotta get, he's got that travis scott meal he got to get that, got the barbecue sauce everywhere <laughs> Shout out McDonald's, um, paid sponsor. We'll see. <laughs> right on, uh, why not? <laughs> after that, um, I was very shocked that they finally announced Hogwarts Legacy. So this has been in the making and rumored for what a year, two years that we're gonna get some kind of Harry Potter Hogwarts game. So seeing footage, um, it's gonna be on all consoles and PC, which is fine. But um, <laughs> definitely a shock for me. 
What'd you guys? Uh, yeah, you I, mean, like? I was kind of oh. like, eh. I love Harry Potter, but just, I don't know. Like, it didn't speak to me. I was like, all right, next. Okay. Okay. I, wow. I was, Sorry. I was taken aback by it. Cause again, it was, it was two games right off the bat. I wasn't expecting. Mm-hmm. So I was like, what is this? And I saw the Warner Brothers come up and then I saw Port Key Games. I'm like, hold up, what the hell is this? Like this, is, right. I was not expecting this. They have like an open world Hogwarts. Like for the first time, I think ever besides what, like Lego Harry Potter? Like, <laughs> and that's not really open world. I think that, so like, yeah. this, this could be like the first time true fans can wander the halls of Hogwarts. And I think that alone is pretty sick. And then when they when they took you into that scene where you first went into that I don't know. I'm not a huge fan, but I know it was the dining hall. I'm going to call it the dining hall. It could be called something yeah, else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like they had the candles floating. And it's like, dude, I feel like I'm in the movie. Most The problem was is most of that stuff was cutscenes. And I wanted to see what gameplay looked like. Because we know the right. cutscenes are going to be 4K. They're going to be gorgeous. But I wanted to know what I would actually be doing in the game besides dodging dragons and trolls and stuff like that. But right. I thought I thought it'd be pretty. I think fans really were pretty stoked on it. But yeah, again, I don't know. I, I, I think there's there has been some controversy with J.K. Rowling, unfortunately. There has uh, been lately, yes. So I think that put a damper on things, but it's just kind of cool that it's finally real. And yeah, it'll just it'll be nice to see some more gameplay and see what you can do because we got you know we got some time. It's not going to be a launch title or anything like that. But, yeah, 2021, right? I think it was. I think it was. Yeah, 2021. But I mean, it looked it looked nice. It looked nice. It did. Uh, um, I mean, we know you're gonna be a Hufflepuff anyway, Ryan. So, yeah, man, they're um they're hardcore, right? Yeah, they're the bad they're the bad boys of the campus. Is that that's the biker gang, right? That's the, the leather vests and um, they're, they're, they're 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 wizards, man. They don't ride bikes. Come Spike on, man. Mom, you know, I don't know. <laughs> This has gone off the rails already. I know, right? We're going out of control. Hey, real quick, uh, John, do you have headphones? Uh, maybe. Okay, I'm getting some feedback on your end. I didn't know if you plugged in some headphones, if it would help. Mm, let me find out. Okay. <laughs> We're recording live, people. Don't worry about it. There tend to be some problems. That's right. Hashtag just, dad life. Yeah. That's just how we roll. That's that right. Is, that is, unfortunately, how we roll all the time. <laughs> No, we'll, we'll... We're, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Please hold. Oh no! And maybe it's my. It's maybe it's just stuff on my end that I'm getting an echo. I don't know. I can hear something, but I was just going with it. Part in the background noise. Okay, that's right. Well, we got an exclusive with uh, Jason Germino. Jason. <laughs> Hello. Um, we're we're gonna take a quick uh, side note here to talk about your Oakland Athletics. Oh, my Athletics! <laughs> they should be our Oakland Athletics. They are. It's actually uh, we should be sponsored by Oakland Athletics. As much oh. A's gear I wear when we're streaming, sometimes. <laughs> right. It's like the only gear I got. Oh, and for all your audio listeners, I didn't even realize John had his Black Panther hat on yet, son. Let's see that. Mm-hmm. That's shiny. That's gorgeous. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. That is sick. I'm That's digging it. That's a GameStop it. special. That's a GameStop special. <laughs> okay, I think that cleaned it up. So. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, you can hear me yeah. better now? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I can hear you much better. Because, I, I mean, no, 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 you're good, you're good. I just want to make sure we're ready because the next thing we're talking about is the incredible Miles Morales demo Ooh. that they showcased. <gasps> that was so damn Ooh. intense. Holy <sighs> I wasn't expecting like a full like five minutes of what you'd actually be playing. Like I wasn't expecting that. And then I was like, oh man, they're gonna ruin it for me. I I wanted to stop. Like I actually wanted it to stop because I didn't want to see the whole <laughs> end of it. Like I was like, okay. Right. Yeah, I, I, but yeah, that was great. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I would have been totally okay with a cliffhanger of just like, you know, just show a little bit of the action um, and then just leave us leave us teasing for yeah. more. Cause, you know, we got we got a bit of, of both. You know, we had the kind of the calmer moment where he's walking through that really cool yeah. like Puerto Rico Day kind of festival that was going on in his neighborhood, which was mm-hmm. super sweet. Um, man, it, it for me, it felt like a, a just an amazing mix of him in the comics as well as you know Spider Verse the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just the the music playing was just very different than what we're expecting from mm-hmm. you know from the the first Peter uh, the the first Spider Man that we got. Um, on ps4 
Yeah, big, the first Peter. That's right, the first Peter Parker. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and so it's just, you know, it. there are definitely some graphic qualities that look similar then mm-hmm. as, a, you know, very similar to the, the first Spider-Man game. But I think the action was intense. It was exciting. The music really hyped it up. Just that whole event was amazing. Uh, and for you, audio listeners, John is showing off his uh, Spider-Man action figure. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, still in the box, man. Mint condition. Mint condition. Yeah. What a game. That's what a game. <laughs> I am. Su- I mean, I was excited when they announced it with the teaser, and that just sent it over the top. Like that's going to be my number one game I'm getting on PlayStation. So yeah. it was incredible. John, any any thoughts from you? Were you just as pumped? I, I was kind of like Jason, like I was like, I'm excited to see stuff, but I'm like, don't spoil it for me. Like I want to yes. still be like it fresh and exciting, but I was also like, oh, that was like the best thing I've seen all month. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, it's it's like, what I need. It's uh, what I was hoping for, and you know, I think there's a lot that we can break down in there in terms of, you know, just the moves he he did and. You know, I'm sure there's going to be a progression he may not have, you know, kind of like in the first game where you have to unlock certain abilities and things like yeah. that. I'm sure we're going to get that as well, but wow, just cool. Everything all mixed together. Just an incredible presentation. Yeah, I mean, they showed off like what, le- at least two or three of his powers that are mm-hmm. different than Peter Parker's. He had the invincibility and he has like the electrical kind of the sting thing, which was yeah, just, shock thing. that was cool right off the bat. Like, okay. We're getting official like Miles Morales. We're not messing around. Like this is not just Peter Parker skin. Yeah. Like you're actually getting right. a whole different way to play than the first one was. Like like I said, man, I just wanted it to stop. I was like, no, no, no. I don't just just say, oh no, the bus, and just stop. Don't 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 save the bus. Just stop it. Let's just keep. Oh, yeah. but it was great. I was I was breathing hard like partway through because I was like, oh man, this is this is really intense. And then you saw the quick action buttons you have to hit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, well, there you're just gonna kill everyone in the bus. You just you miss that triangle, everyone's dead. Like, congratulations! <laughs> like that's a lot to put on me while you I'm just trying to figure out if okay. I want to buy this system or not. That was impressive. That's right. That'll be yeah. me. That'll be me. The dual yeah. shock will like actually shock you if yeah. you mess up the quick time event, and so then you know if you're you're, you're just hanging for like five minutes, that's your punishment. Uh, yeah. No, I'm super excited. It's already listed, so retail price forty nine ninety nine. Oh, good but price. If you, if you do spend the extra 20 bucks and I guess you get the Spider-Man PS4 Spider-Man remastered on mm. PS5. So something to think about a little bit expensive, but I mean, come on, both games are going to be incredible. So yeah. Um, after that, we got a little taste of black ops, which was, <laughs> it was a cold black ops, cold war, right? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. So it was, I, I mean, I enjoy the campaign on call of duty, I'm terrible at multiplayer, and that's fine. That's just something I'm, I live with. It's, just, it's what it is. What it is. Um, some of the little, like, some of the little moves that he does. Um, you know, usually you would like shank a guy with your knife if you get up close for melee combat. Um, but then in the demo, you see him like just you know shove a grenade down a guy's shirt, and then one where he stabbed the other guy in the neck and then shot him in the head with a pistol. I'm like, okay. That's a little over the top, but, you know, you do you, Black Ops, way to go. Uh, so it, it's going it's to be ridiculous, but hey, you know, demo this this upcoming Friday and Saturday and Sunday for PS4 uh, owners. So, oh, wow. you know, I, I'm sure they're so going to make a gazillion. playing this weekend, is that what you're saying? I'll attempt it. And, uh, you know, if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I'll get one or two kills and then I will get killed a lot and I'll be like, hey, cool. Uninstall the game and get your 200 gigs back. I know, right? Oh, gosh. It better not be 200 uh, gigabytes. It was kidding? for PC. PC was like 200 gigs, I think it said. Uh-huh. Like, like every, every update, I just added another 50 gigabytes. I'm like, yeah. no, thank you. Oh, so, man. yeah, it, it, it looked, it looked pretty. It looked pretty. So what are you gonna do? It looked good, and it was just the over top, over the top Call of Duty. Like you're you're chasing an airplane with an RC uh-huh. car. And I'm like, this, I'm like, this can't get any crazier. Nope, it got crazier. No, nope. okay, well he blew it up. Okay, you got that. Okay, now it can't get any crazier. Nope, the car's gonna drive up the. You're gonna hit the car. It's gonna go up the ramp, the wing as a ramp, and go. I was like, this is absolutely. <laughs> I, I... 
did, did any of you think that you know if only that that <laughs> fast and furious game that came out earlier this year if it only had like an action scene like that it would have been like 10 out of 10 oh, 10 out of 10 easily they easily got, they got the wrong director on there uh, yeah, yeah pretty much pretty much we don't talk about that game <laughs> uh version says ryan that you're gonna have a 13 year old yell at you scream at you when you uh when you play. Oh, easily are you kidding me they're just yeah <laughs> all i'm at 13 words. i'm at 13 let's be honest it's gonna be 10 it's gonna be a 10 year old that's gonna get on there and just wreck me I, your, your own kid in the other room <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, is that you <laughs> oh <laughs> no yeah, no you suck who are we kidding? My wife Manuela is gonna jump on there and she's gonna just destroy me in one v one. So right. you know, it's it's fine. One v one, and then I, you're gonna, I, then you're gonna get two K battlegrounds and get I, your butt stomped again. Oh, it's just gonna be a week okay. and a pain for you, man. Okay. You know what? If you're, if, if, <laughs> if you're gonna lie this much to our audience, I'm not gonna invite you on again. Like they want, you know, all of truth. our audience solar promos. They know what went down. They yeah, know what went uh, down. But I did the better promo. They know this. No, Twitter voted. It was single handedly won by one vote. I won. I got, yeah, you probably voted. It was probably your vote. <laughs> I didn't vote. I was the one that created the poll. You voted on yourself. It should be two. I didn't vote. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> we all know voting is rigged. Come on. Ooh, I, too soon. <laughs> too early? <laughs> too soon. <laughs> That's right. We I counted the mail-in ballots later on, and I won clearly. Oh, so. I didn't know there was mail-in. Oh, I would I could have won by I, a landslide. Then I, I was trying to help people out, you know. I had the wrong oh, address. God. That was a problem. <laughs> this is going off the rails. We so are quickly. sliding deep, and we're not even we're not even to the worst game on the list yet. No, we're not even close. We'll get there here in just a second. Um, first, yeah. we got. Well, let's okay. Let's mention one more good game at least. Let's mention Resident Evil Eight. So we got that was not good. <laughs> no, I, hard pass. I know. No. Yeah. Skip. I, I skip. don't do horror. I'm sorry. No. I'm putting my yeah. skip. I'm putting my skip Uno card on you. Hard pass. <laughs> Reverse that bad boy. So you have to play it. I'm excited. <laughs> no, it looked. I, I think I, I think Resident Evil fans are super excited for it. I oh, will. Yeah you know, be scared out of my mind. So I'm going to probably avoid it, but you know, it's okay. It, lo it looked right. good because of like the, the area it was in. So like, yes. you're going to feel even more isolated. Yeah. Like when, I, when you play other Red Evil games, you're like, Oh, I'm in a city in your head. You're like, there's other people somewhere here. Like you're in the middle mm -hmm. of nowhere with on a farm or whatever it is, a village. So you're just <laughs> like, literally could be no one else there because you're in a village of like probably 20 right. people. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, after, but after the Resident Evil trailer, I think then we started going downhill a little bit. Um, you know, Devil May Cry Five Special Edition, which has already been out. Woo, I was kind of yeah. confused, but yeah, it, it was a weird placement, and you know, I, I, it was, I, I'm again. There's fans of the of the the series. I totally understand yeah. that, but it was just such a weird placement. Kind of like the last showcase where GTA, you know, opened the show. It's like, oh, okay, that's kind of a weird placement. And then, you know, kind of the same thing for me. So that's exciting, good. You know, I'm I'm assuming that special edition means all the DLC. I'm assuming there's DLC all bundled into. It's one. probably 4K. Oh, Virgil. Is that the guy's name? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> they should have put it... I mean, it, it was kind of like the Capcom block, right? Because it was Resident Evil yeah. and then Devil May Cry. They should have put Devil May Cry before Resident Evil. Yeah. Because everyone was riding that high on Resident Evil. You're like, oh, a game that's mm -hmm. been out for a year. Or right. even actually two years. So, like... That's true. It was a little, little yeah. different, but... Yeah, and then after that, we had the, you know, the Oddworld um, Soulstorm kind of teaser. Again, another, like, teaser and... I don't know. That feels like a game that's like far away for some reason where I'm not even mm -hmm. like, I'm not even thinking about it because it feels mm -hmm. like down the road next year, maybe two years. Who I, mean, knows, I love so. Oddworld and it looks great. But it does. It looked yeah. better than the last time they showed it. Yeah. But True. It's not, it's, I don't, there's, there's fans of it. There's, a, there's some pretty hardcore fans for it, but it's not something yeah. that I don't think you're going to drive console sales for Oddworld. True. J John, have you played the series? Do you, do you like Oddworld? Um, I had vague memories of playing it. I don't think it was one that like threw me in. Mm -hmm. Like I like the characters. I like weird characters. 
And yeah. Abe is definitely a weird character. Definitely. Yes. I was going to say odd, but that'd be playing on words, but, you know. <laughs> no, exactly right. And, and, you know, and then it just kind of kept going downhill. I, I don't care about Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I don't, I... I, whatever. And so, I don't know. Is that, that a sequel? came out of nowhere. Yeah. Is, is that like a sequel? Is it like an expansion? I don't even know. I, I don't know. It, well, Am the, I old? I haven't played <laughs> any was, Five Nights at Freddy's, but I think... Isn't it kind of like a point and click where you're just supposed to watch cameras and make sure like you don't get creeped up on by the the the, the Chuck E. Cheese characters coming to life, whatever the yep. hell it is, right? So this yep, exactly. this looked like you yeah. walk around almost. Like didn't look like mm -hmm. the world was kind of open. So I, I when I first saw it, I got like a a Bioshock vibe. I was like, oh, here we go. Uh -huh. But then I yeah. saw that son of a bitch bear, and I'm like, dude, if they, oh my <laughs> goodness, if they had shown Bioshock in that spot, oh my word. <sighs> That would have been. I would have. I'm kind of with Jason. I was thinking Bioshock. Yeah. It had that it feel. It had that. Right. The artwork almost looked this very similar. And then you saw that statue yeah. of the bear. I'm like, oh god. Here yeah. we go. I, I wonder if they're gonna go with like some kind of open world, kind of like Hello Neighbor type vibe. And, and I don't know. Yeah, you, you know, could be right. That's fine. The the all the YouTubers will play it and they'll. Oh, it'll, it'll get some. It'll get some Twitch. I mean, it's a it's a it's a game that you're not gonna play by yourself. Probably, it's like a streaming game, yeah. like you said. You're, it's gonna be something you're gonna try to create yeah. some content with for sure. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, following that. You know, again, it was an okay trailer, but following Five Nights at Freddy's, um, we got some gameplay from Demon Souls. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> I will admit for this part, I had to, you know, swipe my computer a little bit so I can pretending I was working while I was listening. Um, <laughs> hopefully my boss isn't listening. Anyway, um, so <laughs> it, it, I just the only thing I like really remember from that gameplay demo was just the the footsteps of the heavy footstep of him going clunk 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 mm. clunk and i'm just like what's happening and though so then i swipe back and i see you know running through and running up some stairs and slashing dudes and i'm like okay it, you know it i guess i i've never been a huge fan of the series mm. so you know i i know there's people that are super pumped for it but it, it for me it just kind of slowed the momentum even more you know that that from based on what the other ones were doing it just kind of was slowing the momentum a lot mm. um i don't know it, it's, it's apparently going to be a launch title are you mm. are, do you guys like the series do you like demon souls and those type of games mm. <laughs> jason says get out <laughs> no, no i'm pointing to john <laughs> uh -huh. no no, I'm not a fan of those games. Like my buddies at GameStop used to try and get me on Dark Souls and Demon Souls and all that, and I just, I don't like those games that make me angry. Now, if I suck at a game, that's different. I'm gonna be angry, yeah. but if it's rage fuel or makes me want to break my controller because I'm mm -hmm. dying all the time, yeah. nah. Next. Next. Yeah, exactly. Get it out of here. <laughs> I, I was more. I was interested. I don't. I haven't played any of these games because again, it's not really my type of game but it's it's enjoyable to watch people play like i'll, I'll watch some of the streams if my one of my friends are, are playing it someone i know is playing it, i'll watch it but the um it was the only it was the second game i think out of the whole thing that you actually had gameplay footage everything yes. else was like cinematic so i was like oh this is kind of cool and like i like like you i heard the foot stomping but mm -hmm. i also heard the breathing like he was really breathing hard when he started going upstairs like stairs and stuff so i don't know if that was just the, the clip they had i'm like is mm -hmm. he getting more tired because he's fighting is this is this I mean, am i just noticing his breath so i'm like how deep is this like 3d audio is going to get in uh, right. these games so i was i was kind of mm -hmm. trying to pay attention to that towards the end but again it it didn't really hype me that much but i was more mm -hmm. looking at the the technology side of things like this is right. gameplay how does this look what the reflections look like look at the shadows he's running through the hallways there's like a torch like that was cool stuff that i i was enjoying yeah. looking at yeah yeah and you know you bring up a good point because it, with demon souls with these games like stamina plays a huge part right where you know mm -hmm. you can't block too much you can't roll yeah. too much you can't you know you know speed burst or any that's not the right word but you know what i mean you can't run <laughs> yeah. through everything because yeah. you got to watch the stamina meter yeah. so yeah hearing the heavy breathing as he's going up the stairs mm -hmm. i mean that could be kind of an indication for stamina levels and things like but that, that that would be really, really cool. sick if they got that in there yeah that's true you know and speaking of technology i mean w did the puddles look okay in the miles morales demo i i know i was a little worried I had more puddles in my hands. I was sweating when that dude was clinging on that bridge. I didn't worry about no puddles in the ground. <laughs> no, it's it. Yeah, the technology, 
you know, and again, it's it's so hard about seeing these de- these showcases because it's obviously all planned out and stuff like that. Oh I mean, yeah, you know, they're gonna it, render that a little extra because they needed to sell, you know. So it, yes, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly right. But again, I mean, if everything, it, it, if the specs are what they say they are, it should look really nice for a console. So I, oh, I can yeah. I can imagine that it's gonna look really really good like we saw in the demo. So I'm excited about yeah. that. Um. We can just pass by Fortnite, right? It's it, it's coming to PS5. It's we never gonna die. So no. uh, let no. let it let it live, I guess. I mean, yeah. I haven't played Fortnite in such a long time. I mean, we were one of the first people to play Fortnite. Uh huh. Because yeah, Epic Epic, Epic actually gave us keys to play this, and we were like, yeah. "This doesn't make any sense." I don't mm-hmm. know how are, are people really gonna like this, and we had a po- we actually had a podcast about it, and then yep. we were wrongly. Shut oh, their we face! Were, how bad it was! How, how we wrong were, we predicted everything. On so that. wrong! So but good wrong. for them, man. They're making yeah. hand over fist and money. Yes. They they can't stop. They they can I, make they can make a they can make a level where you just die instantly and people still play it. Oh, absolutely! Like I I mean I I thought the the single player campaign was way better than the battle royale. I'm like it's not gonna take off, and yeah, I'm dumb. So I yeah. <laughs> what do, but we're what old. Do I so I mean yeah we're. <laughs> <laughs> so don't find that podcast we were wrong so you don't need to look at it that may not be um, around anymore yeah <laughs> we're industry experts so don't even don't even sweat it, <laughs> right. sweat it. Um, are? So, yeah dude <laughs> obviously <Obby. laughs> Obby. then so again downward spiral you know we see Fortnite. then it gets interesting again so PlayStation Plus. Okay, I, 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 I don't want to interrupt you real quick, but this is the off. point when Fortnite came on, and you're like, it was only supposed to be 40 minutes. I'm like, we're at 41 minutes. There got to be more than this. I can't. They can't end this in Fortnite. This is horse crap. And then, no, then this well, happened. Go ahead. Sorry. And, and, it's, and no, no, no. It's fine. Like, and especially that one. Like, if they were announcing there was going to be like an exclusive PS5 skin or something like that, then I'd understand. But they just showed off some screens and and a little bit of footage, and it's like, hey, it's coming. So it's like, yeah, dude, yeah. The the internet would have melted if oh. if they ended it like that. It would have been insane. It would have been bad. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, but, so yeah. Luckily, we got a couple extra things. PlayStation Plus. It looks like it's gonna be, if I understand correctly, it's a collection of PS4 classic games you get for free if you have PlayStation Plus. They did announce 18 games to be a part of that collection. Which is, and they're they're good games. They're like the PlayStation 4 greatest oh, hits, yeah. but yes. like the, the the they're exclusives. It was it was insane when they said God of War. I was like, okay, I didn't, I didn't actually get a chance to play it on the PS4 because uh, I never got it. So I'm like, if I already have PS Plus, which I already have, and I get a PS5, wait. like I'm. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it in 4K. What are you crying about? You're not gonna break your heart. You should be Breaking impressed. Break my heart, man. Pat me oh. on my back. God War is so good. It is so. so I know good. it is. That's the problem. I, I'm excited. I'm excited for you to play it. I really, really am, and I, I, it really is a good collection. I mean, yeah, it's solid. I, I could, I could take my, um, my, my, you know, Xbox flask and talk about, you know, Game Pass having a hundred games while this is eighteen. But, but you're paying more for Game Pass. You know you're paying more though. I'm already paying what I'm already paying now. Mm. Salty Sony tears. Mm. 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 It's fine. yummy, yummy. It's yeah. fine. It's, it's fine. fine. This is fine. <laughs> I knew it this was is coming. Fine. I knew it was coming. <laughs> no, I didn't even think about Game Pass when they announced that. I kept thinking about how many months we've had of absolutely horrendous games, Xbox games with gold offerings oh, for yeah. months. Mm-hmm. You know, just though. Usually, yeah. there's four free games if you have Xbox uh, uh, Gold. And they have been terrible titles for months and months and months. Yeah, especially if they're so, launching Xbox 360 games. Like you're, yes. you're going way, you're digging down this deep hole to get some free games out, man. It's rough. right. And even every once in a while, to have like an original Xbox game, and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. And, and so seeing Hot these titles, nice. <laughs> interesting. Okay, you know, Fusion <laughs> Frenzy. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, dude. Like so, seeing these classic games and. Mm-hmm classic and and you know they're ps4 you know yeah. they're not that old they're still you know just having last of us and god of war and yeah. uncharted 4 those are huge titles um yeah. you know D- D- mm-hmm. detroit become human like that's those are big titles and yeah. those are quality titles mm-hmm. so yeah it, it definitely makes having playstation plus 
kind of necessary for this next generation. I mean, I don't. So, I mean, most of the people that are probably buying day one are already going to have PlayStation Plus or plan on getting it. Yes. So I mean, I don't. They haven't fully announced which games are going to be a launch title. Correct. But this is launch title. So if you buy one game and you're like, I just spent seventy bucks on a game. I have a library of ten amazing games I can play until I can save up seventy bucks again. Basically. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> exactly. Exactly right. <laughs> And just, and games that, you know, like, you know, got, especially since you guys, you know, have, well, John hasn't finished God of War, but you haven't played it, Jason. I mean, yeah. plenty of time between, you know, when we get closer to actual PS5 titles and yeah, exactly right. I think they're going to add to it eventually. I don't think they're going to get as many as Game Pass, no. but they're going to add, and again, quality games. So, but, you know, it definitely Sony fans are happy. And then speaking of God of War... Mm. Uh, we we were hit we were hit with that you know oh one more thing you know which we all mm-hmm. need we need that in a showcase just one more thing it's, it's so, best when the screen um, goes black and yes, you don't hear and anything it, and then you see the little uh-huh and then you hear just the, the oh. voice and you hear the the, the 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 choir you know kind of the low voice choir and yeah god of war ragnarok Ugh. arriving in 2021 which surprised me which surprised me um i will mention this before we talk a little bit about ragnarok i will mention this um tim gettys part of the kind of funny crew he tweeted out that he he was kind of wondering if god of war ragnarok was in the same vein as miles morales or uncharted lost legacy mm. where it's not a full sequel but it is almost like a shorter expansion so when he tweeted that, that out, I immediately thought of like, okay, maybe 2021 is a possibility. Um, I don't know. I, I want it to be a full-fledged sequel because, the again, God of War is one of my favorite games of all time. So I, I want it to be a full-fledged sequel. But I don't know. What do you, I mean, first of all, how hyped are you that we, we got that mini announcement? And what, what do you guys think? Do you think it'll be a full fledged sequel? Do you think it's going to be kind of. Yeah, John, we'll go you first. <laughs> I, I know the signal now. I know, right? I keep thinking you're telling me to get out, Jason. No, I'm pointing. He's, he's literally right next to me in the screen. So I'm pointing, I'm pointing to John. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's like right next to me. We could just like high five. <gasps> oh, virtual high five. Oh, oh yeah, cool. that's nice. <laughs> no team venture. <laughs> um, I'm super excited. Like, yeah, I know you still give me a hard time because I haven't beaten the game, but sorry, life happens. It does. Like we always say hashtag dad life. Just hashtag, yep. Oh. And the hard part for me is I don't know what to do next where I got in the game. So I'm like, I'm almost to the point where I have to start over again. And I'm like, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just wait for PS5 and have the better graphics. Yep. True. Very, very true. And having Ragnarok announced, I'm like, oh. I was like, no one's around, right? I'm just going to scream like little school girl. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I just, ooh. I, there's some story beats that I really want to talk about, but you guys haven't played it, so I'm gonna keep my we'll mouth keep shut. Keep your mouth shut. Um, I know the story though. Yeah, that's true, but Jason doesn't know it, so we don't want to spoil it. I just the fact that they said Ragnarok <laughs> with you know God of War Ragnarok, I, I just I'm giddy. Your I'm wheels so are turning with with how the story ended, and. There's also like a little teaser ending too that you could, you know, unlock. Um, oh. Anyway, that it all comes together into this sweet, sweet, mm, <laughs> sweetness, sweetness. Yeah. So while you guys were talking, I went and looked up the release date of the last God of War, and that came okay. out on April twentieth, two thousand eighteen. Yes. So in theory, it'd be a three year develop, like a three year to develop. So like you said, like Getty said, if it could be just like a spinoff and maybe mm-hmm. not be a full fledged sequel but yep. i mean the way the way santa monica studio works is these guys are basically geniuses anyway they may very well just take the same engine of god of war and just enhance it to 4k and then just use the same engine and you just you're just making a new story out of it so That's true. i mean kind of like tony hawk like it's literally the same game they just put different parks to skate at so it's you're using the yep. same engine you just enhance it a little bit so whether they can right. do that in three years that's going to be damn impressive but yes 
Yeah. But yeah, when absolutely. I when I first saw that little like Omega symbol come up, I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. is this what I think oh, it is? And then I saw the thing. I'm like, watch it be Stargate because they started putting symbols around it. I'm like, <laughs> but that was that was my nerd coming out in me. I knew it was gonna be God of War. But I'm I'm yeah, I'm super stoked to see more of this game. I want to see it, not just the symbol. Yeah. I want to see what's gonna come out of this. That's what I'm really excited for. That's right, J Jason. If you have the 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 Google A's up still, um, mm -hmm. Spider Man came out in September. Right, the last Spider-Man. Yes, I remember that was like the 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 summer of dreams where God of War came out and then Spider-Man came out. September seventh. Like yeah, so it's like okay. four months afterwards, maybe give or take. Uh, okay, so yeah, so lots of time with that timeline. You know, the fact that Spider-Man came out in September two thousand eighteen, and mm -hmm. you know we have Miles Morales again, a smaller expansion. So yeah, technically God of War would have a little bit of extra time to yeah. maybe come out of with a full-fledged game um i'm just i'm gonna hope it's a full-fledged game i want more i'm gonna be greedy i want more of it so. yeah it'd be great it'd be great to have it i mean it may be it may be more linear if they do something like that but i mean either way the story they tell is always amazing so i'm not i'm not worried about it. that's right i'd be worried right. about if it's only a couple hours i'm still paying 70 bucks for it that's a different story but yeah <laughs> a little tight. it'll be a little tight right well, knock on wood i know oof, i know oof and, and of, so after announcements, I mean, for me, Miles Morales, obviously God of War, um, pretty exciting about PlayStation Plus uh, collection. Um, and then Hogwarts. I, mean, I was hyped for Hogwarts. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm, I'm, I, I want to see more. So I'm kind of excited about that. But I mean, for you both, you know, John, I'll start with you. So favorites and stuff you didn't like. Uh, favorites, obviously, Miles Morales. Yeah. Uh... I was actually kind of hyped for Devil May Cry. I'm okay. a fan of the series, and yes, yeah, you know, usually with every incarnation of it, they do a special edition, and it's oh, usually it's you know, here lately you get to play as a Virgil, and you have more content. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. Hopefully, not overpricing, or maybe we'll get it on Game Pass, and I'll just play it on that. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. How um, things I didn't like, uh, I just. Again, my biggest thing with the whole thing is just how long it took to get to the price. Yes. And then, like Jason was saying, it was like that quick. And then it was gone. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, was that? Oh, okay. I'm glad someone took a screenshot so I can go back and see so I can try and figure out which route I want to go. That's right. That's right. Which second mark was that? I got I to click on that real quick. <laughs> that was rough. That was That's rough. right. So, Jason, real quick, favorites, stuff you hated? Um, I, like, I enjoyed... The whole thing i like i enjoyed the xbox one yeah. so this to see that it was more diverse games xbox had a lot of indies on theirs which was exciting i enjoy those type of games right. this by starting it with two games that you kind of weren't expecting was amazing miles morales yeah. like you guys said it was amazing i was super stoked on that like the horror type games i don't really care about so i would kind of just i crashed during that block i'm like i don't care about resident yeah. evil stuff like that but i think they ended it really well besides the whole like besides the price thing um the playstation plus collection is just a bonus for people like me i already have playstation plus so if i buy if i buy this i haven't played most of those games some of those games already but i can play in the 4k and i don't have to i don't do anything it's literally here and i can play it with almost no load times probably they probably are going to boost it up for this um god of war amazing the only thing i didn't like besides like the weird the weird pace of it in the middle is they didn't show ratchet and clank and they didn't show Sackboy. like those are the games like my kids are excited my kid is excited for it because i show him i yeah. showed him when they showed it off the last time and mm -hmm. we played ratchet and clank on the ps4 and he was stoked so i was like please show something please show something i wanted to show him like a little bit more but they didn't have it i'm like Ugh. Mm -hmm. so that makes me wonder if like is it super delayed is it not i don't know if it's release title anymore if they're not going to show it on something like this, you think that'd be something they can show off because there's so much going on in those games, so many different colors and textures and everything. Like that would be something you'd want oh, to yeah. show the system off. And it's the, it'd be like the only family friendly game that would be on this list. Maybe yeah. besides Harry Potter. Harry Potter's even was a PG PG 13. So True. everything else was all for older, like older mature people watching it. So yeah, that was the only yeah. thing I wish they had a little bit more of the, the, the younger age stuff in there. 
Yeah. And I, I think with Ratchet and Clank, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but I think because they did kind of a deep dive in the last state of play. That's probably what happened, um, yeah. What, gosh, I can't remember when that was. That time's a blur. Um, I, maybe that's why they didn't show it off here, but it still would have been a really good spot to have it. I mean, yeah, like they, they said, it was a lot of mature stuff the whole way through. Because my kid yeah. isn't going to play any; he won't even watch any of this stuff. Maybe the Spider Man oh. one, but it's, it's just, I just wish they had that little piece. I don't hate it because of that, but I just oh, that's no. my wish list. I wish they would have had something like that. That's right. That's right. Well, I guess the next big question for both of you is: Did any of you attempt to pre-order? Because, <laughs> the, the, just a, for a quick timeline for our listeners and anyone who didn't really understand, it, it they didn't announce it during the showcase. They didn't announce when pre-orders would be available. It came in a tweet from Jeff Keighley, of all people, you yeah. know, which for me was a huge fail. Like, the fact right. that you didn't tell people that you can start pre-ordering tomorrow. And then, all of a sudden, psych, Walmart says, nah, nah, we're going to open up pre-orders right now. So... All your favorite retailers have their pre-order links up. Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Amazon, I think like an hour ago or two hours ago, Mm -hmm. put up their link. And as we all know this would happen, everything crashed. Everyone was in that infinite loop of checkouts. And some people who know, you know, Walmart, they're probably going to cancel some pre-orders because that's what they do. So did any of you try to pre-order? I know I didn't, but John, did you try to, to pre-order anything? I thought about it, but I was like, you know, I'm going to wait because as soon as they announce it, it's going to be like probably crazier than Black Friday, just everybody on there. Yeah. And oh, I was yeah. just reading some like posts of like, you know, my game slot friends and like uh, there was a manager who used to work for them and he was like, man, I put in all this time and I couldn't even get a pre-order for it. And you know because i guess they had told everybody oh yeah we're gonna do it tomorrow and then haha just kidding we're doing it today and so all these customers are up to that and i was like yeah i chose wisely i was wondering that because a lot of the so the rumors that were out when gamestop were releasing their pre-orders the the big rumor was there was only a certain amount all allocated to each store and that amount was like anywhere between 10 to 20 disc ps5s mm-hmm. and maybe two or three or i think maybe four at the most like digital ones so even if you oh, wow. went yeah even if you went into the store like you if you were lucky you'd probably get a pre-order but there, there's you know very small chance that you actually would like do you remember any pre-orders like that with previous consoles where you were only allowed to have that many allocated like that seems yeah. like a super low number. No, it's to me. it's it's. I mean, that happened at Best Buy when we were working there. They gave they would they would have very limited. I think it was the Xbox, mm-hmm. where they had they were they were very limited on certain numbers. But that was I mean that was years ago. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah, it just seems like fifteen is such a like. But I mean, this whole COVID, count, you know? this whole COVID thing screwed no, yeah. everything up. So I mean, they True. they they could have had a whole factory shut down and for two weeks, and that's probably hundreds of units right there. They could have pushed out, you know. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. And I do wonder if GameStop will, you know, if there's time, because again, it was supposed to be tomorrow when pre orders would go up. So maybe GameStop tomorrow will have some more open up that they'll pre order and things like that. So who knows? We'll yeah. Jason, did you bother to try and pre order the PS5? I did. Did you? Mm-hmm. I what, got one. You, you got one from where? Target. Ah, very nice. We very should, nice. I sh- long as it doesn't get canceled, I should have one by November twelfth. Okay, all right. You not Amazon. Remember? Screw Amazon. We're not talking about Amazon. We're not talking about Amazon, no. and we're definitely not talking no. Walmart because if you uh, if you ordered from Walmart, yeah, you'd get it canceled. <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty, pretty, pretty good chance. Pretty good chance. Yeah, yeah retailers but, did goof yeah. up. They goof. They someone someone jumped the gun, and then it was just a waterfall because. They don't yeah. want the other store to get all the pre-orders. I need money too, so it. God. That's right. It was just what a cluster. It was so bad. So bad. But I mean, but you said it. I mean, you know, pre-order pre-orders are out, but November twelfth, it's going to be available in some regions, and then November nineteenth, they're going to open it up World, for everybody else. So worldwide. So. Of course, America, good, good old America, is mm. uh, one of the first regions that's going to open up USA. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we got the cash wow, Where's that voice come from? Don't worry about it. I, I can't be hidden for a reason. Me right now. Well, well, from you know, it you came know. from below. Shh. <laughs> my, my bad. My bad. 
Well, I wanted to I wanted to wrap up tonight's podcast with I really wanted to get your thoughts just in general. We because we finally it seems like we've been waiting forever for information and for pre-orders and prices for both the PS5 and the Xbox Series family. So now it's out there. We know dates. We know pre-orders. I mean, PS5's pre-ordered. <laughs> it's, it's all done. Well, um, <laughs> you know, Xbox, is, is their pre-orders are on September 22nd. Yeah. So, uh, you know, are you, especially as dads and with the amount of time we have and things like that, are you excited? Are you looking forward to this next gen of console or are you kind of thinking you need to wait? Like, I mean, I get, you know, Jason, I know you pre-ordered. So, but just kind of, I know, right? Shh, don't tell, don't tell the wife. Don't, don't let her know. It's fine. It's our little secret. <laughs> but, you know, John, why don't I go with you? Like, what are you, what do you think? Like, are you excited for this next gen still? Are you kind of over it? Do you still have questions? I don't know that I'll ever be over video games. I do find myself kind of in this lull of like, I don't know, maybe with, I feel overwhelmed right now, like with Game Pass. I'm like, I have all these options. What do I want to play? Yeah. What can I play with my kid around? Because there's like, you know, mature content that I don't want her to be around or, you know, my wife doesn't care for certain things. So I'm like, okay, yep. by the time I can actually sit down and play something I want, it's like midnight. And I'm like, <laughs> so. <laughs> exactly but i'm excited for these new consoles and just like i love when new consoles come out just to kind of see where they take that next step you know where technology goes from like you know i was watching that show i told you about on netflix high score oh yeah kind of watching how like nintendo and genesis got their start and it's like wow and i remember being a kid and being like <gasps> street fighter sonic like high quality back then and just seeing that progression to where we're going now and where we'll go in the future I'm excited. I think mm -hmm. I'll always be excited. I think that part of me will never go away. Good, good. Awesome. Jason, what about you? I mean, I, f I feel exactly the same way. I mean, I've been in gaming for so long, like from the NES and my parents had an Atari system like in their house. So like I've, I've seen it all almost from ground. I'm almost from the beginning. I mean, if I was born in the seventies, I would, you know, I'd probably be involved anymore. So seeing, like he said, seeing the technology evolve because when we get this new technology, it's not just the consoles. I mean, PC, they're the same developers. So they no find out ways to unlock what they can do on PC to make things look different. So everything True. just evolves. So it's not, you know, PC because you're paying so much and different, you can add it and you can make your games look better sometimes on the PC, but that all evolves. And it's all because we keep getting to these next gen areas and just finding what, you get these you get these developers like like the sony um sony monica and um uh insomniac and stuff where they they oh, yeah. go, they go they don't they have an amazing story but they also have the development team to push the limits of the system and we're getting stuff that looks like that on release day like back when playstation 1 playstation 2 came out you're like look what this looks like and look at the end of the life of the system. Like the games look completely different because they learned how to do the system. But it looks like they already know what most of the systems can do already out of the box now. And it looks this good now. Like if we have that same progression and it looks better at the end of the life cycle of Space Age 5, it's going to be unreal. I'm yeah. super excited yeah. for it. Unfortunately, yeah. it's more expensive. It gets more expensive every year. But yeah. It, yeah. It, it, I'm excited overall for everything. It's going to be great. Yeah. I just, I, I, so I'm, I'm torn and I'm not just saying I'm torn so I can be different from you guys. I'm, I'm torn because this year has been so weird yeah. that my, my biggest issue is that everything we've seen, all the presentations and everything that we've seen is what they want us to see. So we have the specs for both consoles, mm -hmm. but we see a lot of cinematics, which can be done on PC, which can be manipulated to make it look all real nice and pretty. The problem I'm having right now with this generation is the fact that I, I honestly would rather have a developer just have their iPhone out and record them starting up the PlayStation 5 and starting a game. And let's see the load times. Let's see what those graphics look like on the TV in front of them instead of, you know 
made perfectly for YouTube, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes games won't play that way. So that's really my biggest, the only thing that's keeping me from getting super excited because I want to be, I want to be excited. I love games and I love just the sound of this technology. It all sounds amazing, mm -hmm. but not having the opportunity to see it yet where we have to really wait until release date until we finally get to see what it can actually do. That part is the only thing that's concerning me right now. Uh, again, if we got some kind of footage where it showed them turning it on and we saw the load times instead of having them talk about the load times, I want to see it. I want to see it in action. And then I can jump in there and say, okay, yes, that is worth 500 bucks. I'm going to go buy that right now. Um, but right now we just haven't really seen that yet. Unless there's a video I'm missing. You know, if there's if if there's a video out there that shows that, then please point me in the right direction. I would love to watch it so I can get a little more excited. But you know, there's been opportunities where, you know, like just basically in-person events, you know, like E3, like, you know, a, I'm sure there would be a launch event for PlayStation where reviewers would go and get hands-on and then write their impressions. So we can see, oh, yes, that load time is only going to be like three seconds versus, you know, 10 to 15 that we'd have to wait right now. Y you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, and gosh, like put a microphone next to the machine. I want to hear how loud it gets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's little things like that where we just don't know. So I, I love the price point. I love the games they're announcing. It all sounds good. I just need to see it in action before I get super committed to it. So, you know, as a dad, I can live, you know, Miles Morales is coming to PS4. You know, the new Horizon Zero Dawn is going to be on PS4 mm -hmm. or PC. So I can wait if I need to. But, you know, the minute someone gets a hand on it and actually gets to show us what it can do and what it's going to look like in real time, then I'll be down and I'll be more than happy to drop that money, you know? So anyway, that's the only, that's my only bummer, you know, and, and same with Xbox. I'm not just, I'm not just drinking my little flask and being a jerk, you know, about Sony. I, it's same thing with the Xbox too, because like the way Xbox has been messaging their, their, about their content, about their future and what their plans are, I can easily just keep my Xbox One X and play everything that's going to come out and be perfectly happy. Yep. You know, there's no there's no rush to get the Series X. You, you know what I mean? Unless yeah. I see it in action and see what it wants to do. So anyway, no, you're, 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 you are 100 percent right. I mean, you get to a point where, I mean, this is. I mean, maybe in our eyes, this is a big investment. I mean, we're making the decision to put the money in it and we're going to be the ones using it. It's not like my mom is buying it for me. I don't care because I just want to play NBA 2K1 and see Zion just mm -hmm. mash on that board, you know, with sweat dripping yes. off his face. Oh, yeah. Like, but it's, it's, you get to that point where like we're a different type of consumer now than what we used to be. Right. Like, so right. we, we want to see where this money is going because it is an investment. Like $500 isn't cheap. Like it's not, a, no. it's not a something I, I mean, it's, yeah. that's a hefty cup people's paychecks. Right. And, it, and I, I would agree. Like, I want to see more. I already pre-ordered it, but I, I, yeah. I agree with you. I want to see more because I think even when I got the PlayStation stuff, I didn't use it that much when I first got it. Yeah. I just kind of let it sit there. And I use my play, I use my PC a and I go back and forth once in a while. So it may be the same thing. You may get it. You pay 70 bucks for a game. You're like, okay, well, this is great. Now I got to wait for a system update for this to get fixed. And you know, there's, there's this weird, there's this weird <laughs> thing now. Yeah. Like I fully agree with what you're saying. Yeah. I didn't think of that yeah. at all. On my hype. Thanks for bringing me down a notch, you jerk. I blame it on, blame it on COVID. Everyone it's, get the target right now. I'm canceling the pre-order. You can just make sure to see that pops up for you guys. <laughs> can, can I have your Can I have your pre-order? Well, and and I'm going to admit this. Please don't make fun of me too much. But there's a little thing nagging in my back of my mind where it's like, how much can you upgrade your computer for five hundred dollars? Exactly. You know? I can get a five hundred dollar video card and be and just not even play and just wait till Fable comes out on PC and just play the hell out of that. Right? So. Like I just, uh, you know. I, anyway, I I hate using mouse and keyboard, but like every game on Steam now has controller support, so it's like I have no excuse. I mean, I believe so. you said that Fall Guys was easier to play on PC. It's than... confirmed. It's it confirmed. I, I don't know why it sucks on PS4. It, I I am miserable. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, I'm miserable on Fall Guys no matter where I play it, either on PS4 or on Steam, but I find it easier to make progress in the game on Steam versus on PS4. So, yeah, it's just like, what else is going to be better on PC? And, you know, sounds like some of these PlayStation exclusives are going to be on PC. PC yeah. So, 
if you just put yeah, put five hundred dollars on a computer and you you know beast it up a little bit, do you is it better than the PS4 or five? Right, right. You know, I just and I think we can see that when we see it in action. So you know, I, I guess that my last question then, because that kind of leads up to to this up uh, this question I wanted to ask you. Just last one before we wrap up. Do you think, since we have about a couple months, do you think we're going to get another showcase? Do you think Sony or Xbox are going to do another broadcast of some kind before it launches? Or do you think they're done, they finally gave the information that we want, and they're just going to wait until November to, to even have anything, or December? Oh, Jason got pointed at. <laughs> You're pointing the wrong way. I'm on this side of the screen. At least on my, at least on my screen. Yeah, okay. On my screen, you this way. Oh damn! Oh my god! Uh, I'm streaming, so it's it's I'm the one in control. Look at me! I am the captain now. You're the captain now. Um, so, hold on. What? Uh, I I feel like it's going to depend on the pre-orders go, which already yeah. seems like everyone's sold out. So if they if, yeah. they if they if they already sold out on launch, there's really no reason to hype the system up anymore. They've already sold all their consoles. It's gonna right. be it's gonna be those people that are. I mean, it comes out in November, right? November twelfth. Yeah, early which is, November. Which is like a, a month and a week before Christmas. Right. So you're looking at maybe one, maybe two shipments of systems before Christmas. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. They don't need to sell it. They're, it's selling itself right now with all the hype. People that probably don't even know what a PlayStation Five is, they're probably just trying to get one because they know they can probably resell it for more. <laughs> <laughs> during christmas time i'm serious like that it, it's not just gamers buying this because they know that yeah. there is going to be huge demand for this yeah. so i think if they wanted to please the gamers that are already investing my 500 dollars, hell yeah i want to see more I, even mm -hmm. if the developers like if sony isn't going to have something let me show you what my game looks like because you have a selection of 70 dollar games to buy and there's going to be a lot of people like me they may be only be able to get one I yeah. may even just get the system. I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing God of War. I may not even get the damn game because I don't know how much. If I have to buy a seventy dollars controller or a seventy dollars game, it's gonna be come down to that. That's so right. We're looking at. Um, we're looking at. That's what. I, that's what I want. I want to see the developers get excited for their games. I want to yeah. see them like. I don't want to wait. I don't want. You shouldn't have to wait for Sony. You can stream on Twitch. You can stream anything. Like you have the world in your hands. You don't need Sony to do stuff like that. And I feel like. Insomniac does pretty good. They kind of did their own thing once in a while, but because it was a Sony exclusive, Sony kind of took the Spider-Man thing. You know, they they did their own. Uh, they kind of leashed that along. But I want them to. But I feel like they already made their money. I mean, if they've already yeah. if they've already sold their stock, or they haven't said how much they're getting. They haven't said if they're getting another shipment for Christmas. They may be done for 2020. Oh man! Even, it's seven, it's someone, if you cancel your pre-order because I didn't show any games, there's gonna be seven other people want it. It's seven hundred people that are gonna want to buy it. So very true. Yep. Very true. Capitalism wise, they don't care. But the yeah. developers, I would be like, hey, if he's gonna choose between three games, I want to make sure mine is in their head when they go to that store. So yeah. that's 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 why that's what I feel like should happen. But. Good point. Really good point. John, what do you think? Um, kind of similar lines of what Jason was saying. I think. They don't have to do it, but I think it'd probably be smart for them to do kind of like what Nintendo does with their little indie showcase. So like all these developers that have these games that are in the works, keep us excited, keep us hyped. Even if we don't get the console this year, at least we'll have something that we know is coming and yeah. it just kind of keeps it fresh in our mind. And, you know, hopefully they don't sell out and all of us are able to get one or, you know, we're all going to go to the Jason's house and play his. Right. Come on right. over. Shoot. But, let's go. <laughs> Sleepover! <laughs> Yay! Nice, 24 nice, hour stream! Nice, nice. <laughs> so but, nice! Yeah. Um, I think... I think they should, but I don't think they will realistically. They could surprise us, though. You never know. Yeah. There's still... I call 2020 the year of unexpectedness. <laughs> you, that's for damn sure. I can't... Every day is a curveball, bro. Uh-huh. I mean, I could use some other words that are less colorful for um, for for twenty twenty. You know, they'd be colorful, but they'd be the they'd be the wrong color for this time. Ch children might be might be listening. You never know. You never know. I, I I will say I I think out of both companies, I could see maybe Sony having one more, just because they do have a couple games that have a window. 
So Miles Morales cool. is still holiday 2020. So maybe they'll do another trailer and give us a specific date for that, for Ratchet and Clank, for Sackboy, things like that. Um, I hope they do something again that shows off the console itself from both parties. Cause again, that would make me happy. But Jason, you brought up a really good point. I didn't even think about the developers just doing a stream themselves and saying, Hey, it's coming out on this day, you know, get ready for that. Yeah. I'm so, you know, they're more than capable of doing that. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, word of mouth is the, is always been the biggest thing for video games. I mean, hell look at what we're doing right now. We're like, we're yeah. literally talking about it and we have people listening and people are going to probably listen to the recording when this is done. So it's, even if, even if that person doesn't like, say Insomniac does something, I'm like Ryan. Did you see what they just did? And you're mm-hmm. gonna go look at it, but you may not have seen it live. But it's on the internet. It's always gonna be there. So I don't see yeah. why they wouldn't mm-hmm. hype it as much. But Xbox, I feel like the way Sony has right now with the games, with the like, in crazy AAA games, they just especially with God of War. Xbox, mm-hmm. I feel like they need to do something, especially with their, with their console with a set pre-order date. It's going to be really yeah. it really interesting to see if they don't scramble and push something before that to try yeah. to sway people the other way. I mean, to be honest, like <laughs> if they just saw every single retailer break minutes after minutes after PlayStation 5 gets announced. Yeah. Because some pre-orders were open. Like if if Microsoft doesn't have that same effect, they they may be hurting and they really need to start pushing like hey, this is what Sony has, but look what we have. They need to start showing what they can do and not be like well we have nba 2k which everyone already has or yeah. like not sh- not boast <laughs> oh you can play this on pc down the road no people already have a computer don't don't sell fucking computers we get you want to sell the xbox that's in front of you like you have this in the warehouse you want to get rid of the system like you need to be able to sell it because people right now already just bought a playstation because it's pre-orderable first some yeah. people may have if, if they came the other way around people may have gotten the xbox first so it, it's just there's, there's this whole this chess game that they're going through and they need, I think the Xbox needs to make another move before it comes out. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like they need one more. They need to get the developers on the phone. Uh, yeah. Push up hate fable right now. Yeah. What do you, what do you guys got for us? (laughs) Hey, let's wrap it up. Let's go. Uh, (laughs) We're going to make it. Everything's episodic from here on out. Everything's episodic. So we can just release it as we go. Yeah. Cut it, cut it halfway uh, to be continued. We'll ship the other one. 2021 make it happen yeah very so. true very true well just right before we wrap up jason any any comments anything you want to shout out from the chat did they have any questions anything like that oh man people had all uh, eat it up two foot of butt crack version myth they all showed up and just i you know blew me up and i've been having chat back and forth with them so i want to thank you guys for just coming out and yes. just keeping me entertained and giving me questions and stuff to talk about but uh, I think overall, like I'm excited to see what happens this holiday, especially with the way COVID is and everything's limited and there's not going to be a Black Friday. Like I have no idea what's going to happen. This is just oh, going yeah. to be an insane holiday mm-hmm. season, just not even just for video games because all those new stuff come out, but just for shopping in general. Yep. So it, it's yeah. it's all going to be online pickups. Are people going to be fighting in online pickups because someone's going to grab a PlayStation and someone came in the day to buy it? Like what's people people's mindsets are are so skewed this this especially in holiday time of year, because if I don't get this present, my kid's going to have the worst Christmas ever. So right on top of all the COVID stuff we've been dealing with since March and it, 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 it things are going to be very interesting at the end of the year. That's what I feel like. I, I'm going to go ahead and make a bold prediction where we're going to go. Oh, here we go. No, we're going we to go. have, we're going to have no less, no less than five stories of someone coughing on someone else saying they have COVID so they can get that hot, that hot uh, ticket item. That that you know Black Friday deal. I think okay. Black Friday is canceled for a lot of these stores. They're not doing it. I well, they better not. It would be dumb if they did something like that. But you know, I'm, again, five. I'm predicting five stories. You know, some stores could be like, oh yeah, we'll have precautions. Don't worry, we'll spread them out. It's fine, and then it's gonna be chaos. So, well, thank you everyone for joining us, Jason. Seriously, thank you. Really appreciate. Hey, thank it. you for allowing me to come on your guys's podcast and just speak <laughs> nonsense. Like I, I, I beyond appreciate it. Thanks to you to Ryan and John. Uh, thank you so in, much. We're, we're industry, you know, exclusive industry um, uh, pros here. All right. This so, is GameOctane.com. This is a established. Established. 
This is legitness. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. John, thank you as well. Appreciate it. Uh, You will be able to find this video on demand on twitch.tv slash Game Octane. Mm -hmm. Again, if you haven't followed Game Octane, do it. We write for them. We stream for them. This is fun. All right. We want your input. We want your feedback. So watch the video. You can see us uh, doing a little head bobble as we go through. Um, I'd, oh, yeah. There it is. For, for our audio <laughs> listeners, sorry. You're, you're missing. You got to watch the live shows. You watch the live shows. <laughs> you got to watch it live. You got to watch it live. So follow Game Octane on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, at Game Octane. And again, follow Entercode Podcast. It's uh, on, We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook, at Entercode Pod. You can find us on anchor.fm, on Spotify, on a whole bunch of podcast services. And again, we're going to post this. Uh, I got to get the, the audio out of there and, and post it tomorrow. So tune in. Tune yes. in. We're going to talk more. We're going to do this more often. And we're going to talk more um, about Sony. And look at that. Our podcast ran a lot longer because we talked about mm. Sony. Shocker. Oh, wow. Well, you know, if Xbox, was, Xbox wow. had a better show, we'd be, you guys could talk more. We also had an extra person to talk to. So, I mean, we did pretty good. You need to do better. You, you need had... to do better. You hear me? You need to do better. Manuel is just not caring in the background. <laughs> She's like, wrap it up. I got She's stuff like, to do. God, are you drunk? <laughs> that's, that's what. That's what's in the Xbox bottle. I, I'm, I'm partially drinking and crying. I'm drinking and crying at the same time. Like, why Xbox? Why? Is, why? It's so salty. I had such high hopes. Game oh. Pass was great. I still love Game Pass. But God, I love now. it. I love it so much. Anyway, oh, All that was right. great. Everyone, thank you so much. Take care. We're going to see you soon. We love you. Be good to each other. Be safe. Be healthy. Yes, we'll please. See you next time. We'll catch you guys later. Thank later. you so much. All right.